to all the Chevy Silverado owners out there. Thank you for making Chevy Silverado the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weather today. Back to sunshine on this Friday. Here's a look at your hour-by-hour Build Your Day forecast brought to you by Parks Lumber Company. Starting out with a few clouds out there this morning, but those move out quickly. We're left with sunshine midday in the afternoon. Not as warm as the last few days, though, behind the cold front upper 50s to near the lower 60s in a few spots where your daytime high is here across the Tennessee Valley. Here is that future cast breakdown. Clouds moving out this morning. Sunshine, but still a breezy northwest wind of 10 to 15 miles per hour. Gusts as high as 20 at times. Daytime highs mainly in the upper 50s, but a few folks in the lower 60s over northwest Alabama falling into the 40s this evening, 30s overnight. And by daybreak here on our Saturday morning, I think many of us are in the mid to upper 30s around sunrise. But you know how it is around here. Those colder sheltered valleys in southern middle Tennessee, a few folks might make a run briefly at the freezing mark. And then we recover back to the upper 50s, lower 60s for our Saturday with partly cloudy skies here. High pressure shifting off to the east Sunday. Gives us more of a southwesterly wind, the warmer air, upper 60s to near 70, and a few showers possible early next week with a stronger south wind and a mix of sun and clouds into the low to mid 70s for the first half of next week. Check this out. Upper 50s to near 60 for today and tomorrow, near 70 Sunday, and then into the low to middle 70s Monday through Wednesday. And then Wednesday, another cold front comes through during the evening and overnight. We'll have to watch Wednesday for the possibility of of a few stronger thunderstorms. Storm Prediction Center Office of the National Weather Service putting out this outlook area for the possibility of some stronger storms Wednesday and the Wednesday night. However, there's a whole lot of uncertainty with exactly how this will evolve. As of this time, it does not look like a major severe weather threat, but there could be some stronger storms involved. So we'll be watching it carefully here over the next few days as we iron out the details. Keep checking back for updates through the weekend into early next week. As we get the details figured out, a few strong storms certainly possible, but no reason to panic or anything like that. Just be aware of what's going on. We are in severe weather season, so even if this storm wasn't even on our radar, so to speak, you still need to be aware of what's going on as we deal with this here in the Tennessee Valley this time of year, every single year. And this is a way of life. This is nothing unusual by any remote stretch of the imagination. Just have your severe weather plan in place, have ways to hear warnings and you'll be just fine. Whatever happens next week, but a few strong thunderstorms Wednesday are certainly possible. Mostly sunny skies today after morning clouds move out. Upper 50s for most of us over southern middle Tennessee. However, a few folks back in the Hardin County could sneak into the lower 60s. Upper 50s and lower 60s for us over northwest Alabama, northeast Mississippi with clouds clearing out as well during the morning. Staying partly cloudy through Saturday and Sunday. Noticeably warmer on Sunday with a southerly window highs in the upper 60s. And then 70s next week, a stray shower or two Monday and Tuesday. Then we'll watch next Wednesday for the possibility of some stronger thunderstorms and then back to quiet weather toward next Thursday. There's a little too late a seven-day forecast. Kelly Rawson is in the Weather Center live at noon with another check of your local weather. <laughs> 